I'm conflicted. It's a very exciting day, but I don't want to overplay it. What's exciting about it, Craig? Did you finally quit? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's Jeff's birthday. <laughs> yeah. One year ago today, a fresh-faced appliance came into the studio with a kind of arg, arg, arg. <laughs> Very soon, his voice turned into something. Actually, Jeff was, he was very robot. You were very robot when you first got here. But you, you are correct, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're very, uh, you're a little more, how can I put it, um, outgoing? Sex party. <laughs> That's at the weekend. At the weekend, Jeff and I are actually going to go to Las Vegas to celebrate his birthday, and I'm very excited. <laughs> Because if you know anything about... I actually am. We are actually going to Las Vegas. I know you think, nah, you're just saying that. No, no, no. I am actually, for real, going to Las Vegas with Jeff. We're going together. We're going to hang out. Grant Imahara's coming, who built Jeff. We're all going to go somewhere and get nuts. Um, Ooh, fun. Yeah, that'll be great. Well, we're going to... I'm going to... Well, I don't drink or take drugs, so I'll just be sitting around being in a bad mood. And... Uh, <laughs> So I don't gamble either. Um, uh, Jeff will be unplugged, so he'll be like... Uh, actually, that would be a great show for VH1. Jeff unplugged. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude looks like a lady. Anyway, I saw that, and, uh, and Grant will be there. Grant will be, uh, you know, reading about science. It's going to be the greatest weekend in Vegas ever. So if you're in the Vegas area, come along and uh, have a read. Sex party. Sex party, yeah. Come along for a sex party uh, with us in Vegas this weekend. <laughs> what is well, it? this weekend, I'm buying a penis. <laughs> And so am I! We'll be right back. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. if you weren't being paid in live chickens. <laughs> live chickens? Yeah, we've upped our game. CBS allows me to play, play, <laughs> to play the big time farmer with the audience and give them live chickens in return. <laughs> You'll receive your chickens later by mail. <laughs> A lady in the audience gave me finger pistols. Before the show started. <laughs> Craig, is that a rude thing? You bet it's a rude thing. You know what else is rude? Cussing. Yeah. <laughs> now, some people say to me, people say to me, Craig, why do you cuss so much in the show? It's just to remind me. It's to remind me that I'm one of me and not one of them. There are... <laughs> I mean, I'm one of them in other ways, but I'm not. I, you know, there are many shows you can watch on television where they don't cuss, so go 
Watch them. It's a great day for America. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> CBS does care. That's why there's going to be words after the show. The words from them will be, don't cuss anymore. The words from me, babe. Anyway. Great day for America. <laughs> Guess who had a good day at the office today? Daddy had a good day. Ah, uh, where's my dinner? It's a great day for America, not a good day for the environment. Scientists are saying that the ozone layer of the Arctic has shrunk uh, a record 40%. Now, to give you an idea how much that is, it's the biggest hole in the sky that's not on a southwest plane. <laughs> Craig, that was like a joke about an incident recently in the news. Yes, that's why I do the show, for that kind of thing. <laughs> not a great day, though, if you're one of the millions of Americans who just had their identity stolen. <laughs> Usually the sound effect is uh, 10 seconds late, if at all, unless a regular sound effects guy got his identity stolen. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I guess. Anyway, to avoid identity theft, I uh, keep uh, my online info somewhere. No one will find it on the CBS website for this show. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Too good. We'll have to fire him when, like, when the special, the, the, the graphics guy got good. <laughs> if I get any good at I'm out the door. <laughs> anyway, here's what happened. Over the weekend, a marketing company uh, called Epsilon had their data ba basses. Data basses? It's a, it's a technical word. Don't worry about it. Their database is uh, broken into by hackers. Now, hackers uh, sold everyone's information to criminals who use it to go fishing. Now, that's fishing with a PH, like the crappy Grateful Dead cover band. The, uh, I look forward to your letters, your long, patchouli-scented letters. Get a haircut, hippies. CBS cares. <laughs> anyway, phishing is when someone sends uh, you a link to a fake version of a real website, then uses it to ask you for sensitive information, and you give them the information, and before you know it, BAM! You're sucked into a computer, you're trapped inside a glowing maze, gobbling pills and getting chased by ghosts. <laughs> That's Pac-Man. <laughs> I don't really know how the internet works. Anyway, if you discover that your email was hacked, security experts recommend that you immediately change your passwords. Unfortunately, my password is something no one would ever guess. Bulls. <laughs> I'd better change it now, then. Now, wait a minute, Craig. I hear you ask in your adorable Scottish accent. How did a company I've never heard of get my information? Well, they use a tool much dirtier than hacking, more insidious than spam. They use those despicable monsters known as lawyers. <laughs> it's like having a pre-taped band. Anyway, so what happens is when you use your mouse to click over the uh, agree thing on those long term service things that you get here for two, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, click, click. Give me the porn. Anyway, the. <laughs> right? <laughs> click, click, click. Yes, 18. Yes, yes, yes. But when you click that, you basically give the lawyers the right to do whatever you want with your information. Now, I'd be conflicted if someone ever got my credit card information. On the one hand, I'd freak out if I saw thousands of dollars of charges that weren't mine. On the other hand, I could really use the airline miles. <laughs> but what's happened is they say that old people are the most vulnerable to these scams because they're, the, they're new to the Internet. Old people are just starting to get comfortable with the Internet. I think they think it's because they can download nude pics of old-timey movie stars. <laughs> Check out the gowns on Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Anyway, the elderly... The elderly are actually the fastest growing segment of internet users. I know several old people who send email, chat and Skype with their friends. Some of them even do it when the computer is turned on. <laughs> Look forward to your letters in that scribbly handwriting. Anyway, 
<laughs> that, or maybe that's the fish people that do that. I don't know. And my policy, anyway, is only answer emails from people who are my friends. But I don't have any friends, which means I have more time for angry birds. <laughs> Mark my words, pigs, I will bring you to justice. <laughs> Sweet, feathery justice. <laughs> I did, uh, last week though, I got an email from a guy I don't know, uh, but he, he, he was a Nigerian prince. His grammar wasn't perfect, but he chose me because I've got an honest last name and he's gonna make me rich. And as soon as I put a small amount into an offshore bank, next time this week I'll be in a golden mansion and this show will be hosted by Bob Saget. And I can, and I'll be able to say whenever I want. And, and, you know, and I'll finally, you know what, for years I've been trying to pick this little thing off the end of this. <laughs> There, got it. <laughs> right, like that there. <coughs> no, boy. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> That's right, I'm gay for me. It is I, Aquaman. Quick, a letter, please. Who seeks my counsel? Thank you, convincing fish on a pole. This letter says, Dear Aquaman, if I'm trapped in a lifeboat with 20 people and there's only enough room for 10, what should I do? Yes. It is I, Aquaman. If you're staring at my groin, I'd like to remind you it's very cold in the ocean. Why, who's this perky young fellow with a letter in his mouth? It's a fish. Let me see what this missive requires. Dear Aquaman, my girlfriend of five years broke up with me and now I am heartbroken and alone. How am I supposed to go back out in the dating world? Mm. I imagine you'll have quite a difficult time meeting someone else because you sound like a bit of a whiny baby. <laughs> Boo-hoo to you! Oh, my girlfriend left me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I live with... Fresh. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big show. <laughs> <laughs> My first guest is uh, in. Uh, he's right round there. <laughs> He'll be out any minute. He can probably hear me saying this now, but it's a kind of. <laughs> Can, I, yeah, you, can you hear me all right? Good. I'll, I'll say a couple of nice things about you and then you come out and act surprised like, oh, I was just going to walk home and I think this, uh, there's a guy I don't know in my house. <laughs> Sorry, I, I won't do that again. It's like talking to a naked puppet. <laughs> He's in the, uh, he's talking, he's here, he's, he's in the 25th anniversary edition of Stand By Me, which is available on Blu-ray. 
Please welcome Jerry O'Connell, everybody. Jerry. Is it really 25 years? Yeah, 25 I, I'm, years? I'm as shocked as you are. Uh, wow. It uh, really feels old when you're doing uh, interviews saying, so 25 years ago when you made this film, and you're like, oh, oh. time for Botox. No, man, don't do it. Would you ever do that? Um, would I do it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm, to I'm get it done. First uh, place, scrotum. <laughs> It's gonna be smooth. It's gonna look like two orbs down there. That's uh, I've 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 never heard of that, but uh, there's a first time for everything. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it done. Plus, you know what they say? Well, you can't smile. Well, I don't smile down there. Right, right. Do have to warn you? They say the area after the injections get very sensitive. It's sensitive anyway. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, you know, normally people try to uh, not have uh, large things coming out of that area. They what do you mean, to... big scrotums? Uh, <laughs> yeah. They try yeah, to... but I was born in the '60s. <laughs> right. I, well, I've heard that about you people. <laughs> That's right. Oh, us hippies with our giant scrotums. <laughs> You look pretty thin, man. Are you all right? You're, you're really looking thin. Uh, you're a bit manorexic looking. <laughs> um, I, I, I haven't really been hitting the gym. I have two children now, so... Yeah, sort of um, just you much. haven't even been eating then? You're just giving them all your food? Uh, <laughs> Here, take my food. No, I eat, but I mean, I, I don't have time to go pump iron, you know? Like, yeah. well, like you. Do, oh, yeah, that's time. right, yeah. Here's the iron I pump. Mm. <laughs> No, I, I, that's just getting the wrinkles out my scrotum. The, uh... Speaking of... No, don't, don't applaud uh, that kind of humor. Speaking of, speaking of scrotums, you have, a, you have a little bit of a potty mouth tonight. It's, I do, uh... yeah. I'm feeling very uh, rebellious today. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think I'm being a jerk. <laughs> do you forget like that? I mean, you must have... You've got the sleep deprivation with the kids. You must be behave a bit like a jerk around the house. Um, you know, sometimes your uh, your personality, your nice personality, gets tested. But uh, I mean, they're just kids. What, you age, what age are your kids? They're they're two, and they're girls, so they pretty much tell me what to do. Yeah, no, uh, no, that'll change. <laughs> <laughs> they um, one got in a little bit of trouble last week. Bit uh, bit another kid at school. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, was that's, uh, uh, that was a situation. Where, where, whereabouts did she bite the other kid? Uh, um, there was a report, actually. Uh, the principal gave me a report that I had to sign. It's, uh... What, 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 for a two-year-old? Times have changed, my friend. It's not even a school. It's a preschool. It's a preschool, and I had to sign a waiver saying I acknowledge that my child bit someone, and now I have a book that I read every night called Biting Hurts. <laughs> and, not and always. <laughs> not always it does. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, some people like to be bitten on their scrotum. You, yeah. Yeah, those days are over for me, though. <laughs> what with my Botox injections? <laughs> you can't get your teeth in there, no. Yeah, no, I'm not supposed to bite on Botox. No, no, you bite, to, like, yeah, break your teeth. It. Yeah, you yeah. break your teeth biting. It. It's like one of them, it's like one of them big, you know, uh, what do they call them? Jawbreakers. Jawbreakers, that's there you go. go. Yeah. I'm here for you. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, did you eat a lot of jawbreakers when you were doing this? You were a little, because you, you were, you know, you were a little tubbier, Dan. Man, you know. so a little bit, you know, a little bit. T a little tubbier? Bit. Tubbier, yeah, you know, a little I bit more portly. <laughs> you were a little more zaftig. A little on the corpulent side is what I'm saying. Well, I prefer terms like uh, healthy. I was a healthy kid. Yeah, yeah, no, I was too. I was a very healthy kid. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I was, yeah. Um, I was a little heftier uh, back then, but, you know, I mean... Do you think that's why you stay in shape now? Because I know that I really watch my weight now, and I'm sure it's because when I was a kid, I was very self-conscious about it. Uh, listen, I'm a foot and a half taller than I was when I... I was 11 years old when I did that, and I think, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I... Did you get a lot of uh, girlfriends and stuff from being in that movie? Um, well, uh, no, because I was known as the fat kid, mm, so it's a little yeah. tough to... It's a little tough to... Yeah, but, you know, things moved on. You lost a little weight, got famous for other stuff. You know. Yeah, but, you know, you ask people to the prom, and they're like, look, I, I really like you, but I, 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 can't, I can't go with the fat kid from Stand By Me. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, you know, I was younger, 
and um, a lot. It was sort of an older movie at that time. I think I, w I was 12 when it came out, and right. I think more teenagers are going to see it. So uh, um, it was a Stephen King story. Was it? Stephen King called story. the body. It was called the body. He's a, a terribly good writer, Stephen. He really King. is. He, he is really great. is. He's a. He. I mean, uh, did you ever see The Shining? I saw. I read The Shining. Oh, you read it? Oh, you read it? Oh, you read the actual book? Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> Listen, I. I, I don't want to. Oh, sorry, Ron. I didn't know we had a reader. I don't want to. I don't want to come up as a scholar, but no, I mean, no, just, you come in here with your ideas about reading books. Fine, go on. Well, I mean, I think it was a bestseller. I don't think I'm yeah, reading a lot, of, uh, a, lot, a lot of people read it. I uh, suppose something really that that complicated. It was. It wasn't that complicated, really, was it? Uh, it. it I mean, it, it got scary at times. Oh, it's very, it's very. Yeah. Funny. The, the film was. I saw the movie. That's uh, the way I came to it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you like the movie, the Shining movie? Do you like scary movies? Uh, I do like I do like scary. I movies. like a scary movie too, not a slasher movie. Um, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like a lot of the blood. Sometimes no, it makes me a little squeamish. I've no. I've done a few horror films, and when they shoot those scenes where people are dying and stuff, I'm like, I'm I'm not into this. You know. Yeah. Well, you that could have caused a problem if you're there as an actor and you go, actually, I don't want to be in this scene. <laughs> Well, you have to be. You, 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 and you're like, oh, no. Uh, yep, nope, don't, don't want to do it. Nope, it's too I, bloody for me. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> no, that would be, that'd be awful. I just soiled myself. I don't feel comfortable here anymore. What? <laughs> just right now? No, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel very comfortable. I, I was going to say, I was like, man, I, how can I help? I, I don't... Yeah. Scrotum is no, tip-top clean. No, that's no, that good. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So you get one of them baity kids then, have you? They're, what, they two? They're two. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty tough... Well, three, actually, I found uh, is a pretty tough age. You know, I I know you have a little one at home, mm. but uh, I'm, starting, I'm starting to... I know you have two little ones at home, uh, but you have a very little one at home, right? Yeah, I got a brand new one going on right now. Right yeah. now. And I, I do want to tell you there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's about to get a lot darker for you, my friend. No, no, no. I got a ten-year-old. I've already had the preview. I've gone through it. I've come out the other side. Now he's at uh, college, and he's doing really well. <laughs> At 10, that's Yeah, he's incredible. like Doogie Howser, but real. Yeah. Obviously, he has the ability to read The Shining. I read it to him when he was two. <laughs> Would you, now, are you very strict in what you let the kids watch and stuff like that? Because uh, um, I am very tough. You know, uh, I do have to admit, they love your show. When you throw those puppets up, they get Whoa, very excited. Oh, Mama, you can't let the kids watch this. Well, not after a potty mouth night. Uh, no, uh, Sure, I can do that, Craig. Well, uh, you know what it is. Sometimes you get a little restless. You know what I mean? A little restless, a little irritable, a little antsy. Um, <laughs> Sometimes all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you try? Uh, why don't you try yoga? Or why don't you throw some chamomile in there? Maybe chill chamomile out. works the opposite for me. I go crazy on chamomile. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard that. No, no, it happens. Some people like me, you know. Unusual people, we take chamomile and we go nuts. Uh, that's, the f that's the first time I've ever heard that. Uh, I, didn't oh, I just made it up, but it'll catch on. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize chamomile was a party drug. Oh, yeah, I know it can be. If you add cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> CBS Kiss. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, we're out of time, Jerry. Do you fancy a mouth organ or uh, an awkward pause? Uh, I am... Uh, I don't play at all. I don't think I've had a mouth organ in my mouth since I was about seven. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, not that kind of mouth organ. I, I, Too I late, man. They were way ahead of you. <laughs> Um, I won't put a mouth organ in my mouth, but uh, I, it has to have your saliva on it. It has to. Dude, you don't want to do that. I, got, I have cooties. I'm famous for it. <laughs> as long as you're not suffering from mono. Mononucleosis, the sleeping sickness. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't play mine because if you play mine, then I have to play, uh, you, you, that, you, you know, and then I get it from you, and then, uh, then I'm blowing everybody you've blown. I am... Like that has already happened! <laughs> Here. Oh, I have a new one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a brand new one. Right there. Okay. We, we have a new one for uh, extra special VIP guests. Nobody's weird saliva's on this, like Jeff's or No anything? one's ever touched that at all. Okay. Ever. Except the organ manufacturers. Okay, you ready? Yeah. It'd be great go. if you could play. This is the beginning of our band. 
<laughs> I really can't play. Don't be excited. No, okay then. No, but I admire your enthusiasm. <laughs> the new stroke. <laughs> it is I, Aquaman, the world's favorite orange cartoon character. That's right, you heard me, Snooky. Thank you, Regis. This letter says, Dear Aquaman, my daughter's goldfish died. Ew. How do I break the news to her? I wouldn't if I were you. Pretend like the fish is still in the bowl and she can't see it because she has a degenerative eye disease. You're welcome. See you later. Get it? See? You know what I'm saying? See you later. Because we're in the, you know, because we're in the ocean. I've cheered up, and I'll tell you why. Because my next guest, who's just found out, is smoking hot. <laughs> she stars on One Tree Hill, which airs on Tuesdays on the CW. Take a look at this. Did you guys know that it's impossible to eat six crackers in a minute? Random, but perfectly timed. And for key channels? Yeah. All right, team. Six crackers, one minute. Ready, set, go. This is hard. 30 seconds. I can't do. It's not for me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia Bush, everybody. Sophia Bush. Fantastic. May I well, say that? Thank Look at you. you. Wow, that green thank dress. You. That draws the eye. Thanks. I'll be honest, the green dress on its own would not draw my eye, but with really? you in it, suddenly there I am <laughs> with my eyes drawn. Well, no, thanks. you look nice. Yeah, you Appreciate look that. Can you eat six crackers in, in a minute? I don't know. I think I probably could. I haven't tried. It, it is interesting to watch people attempt it, though. It doesn't go well for anybody. No, I, I think I could do it and look attractive. Really? <laughs> Maybe when we're done, we'll just go in the green room. And eat crackers together? Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you're talking. Vegas is canceled, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, too late. It's Jeff's birthday. It's Jeff's birthday. Yeah, he's a year old today. That's impressive. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks You've very kept much. kept him alive. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that difficult. It's kind of like if someone said, you said, I've had my TV for a year. Right. And then you said, whoa, you've done a great job. Right. It's just, you just keep it there and plug it in. And if something yeah. breaks on it, call the guy. <laughs> That's it. Do you have your own robot? I don't. I'm hoping I will one day. You can have I've, that one. I've now talked to the gentleman at Mythbusters after we talked about them. Yeah. One of the last times I was here. Who did you meet from Mythbusters? I met Adam. I and love they were Adam. very excited. So I think when we become better friends, I might talk to them about a robot. Well, the, you need to have Grant Imahara, I is know. the robot builder. He's, yeah. He'll be with us in Vegas this weekend. You're coming to Vegas. I was just in Vegas. Really? What were you doing in I Vegas? Can't do it. I just took a road trip with two of my best friends across the country after we wrapped One Tree Hill for Three the Three girls? Season. Yeah. Driving across the country? Oh, yeah. From slow North Carolina. Slow down, baby. Slow down. Oh, yeah. Just paint the man a picture. A little car and a little dog. Little car. Yeah. And a, a little dog, too? No, a big dog. I have a big... I have two big dogs. All right. But one of the dogs was with me in the car. And let me tell you something. I drive, like, this little eco-friendly Audi station wagon that I made look like the Batmobile because it makes me feel cool <laughs> driving uh. a station wagon. And it's this 
the car is clean diesel, so I have to fill up at diesel stations. Right. And so I go where all the truck drivers go, and at the truck stations, there's one pump that works with my car. So I pull up, and it's three chicks jump out of a station wagon uh, and a one-eyed pit bull, and the truck drivers are like, what's with your car? But we like your dog. And I'm like, thanks, y'all. <laughs> It was a really interesting experience. They're just trying to talk to you because it's three girls in a car. You know that, eh? They might not really like your dog. They might not. He's really cute. Is he really? Yeah. A one-eyed pit bull. Yeah. Yeah, sounds adorable. <laughs> <laughs> sounds scary, but he's great. No, no, I, I think pit bulls get a bad name, but I think they're they not do. that bad. I think they, they get ill-treated and they become aggressive after that. But yeah. if you treat them nice, they're all right. Yeah, yeah. mine's like a butterfly. Okay, I think that's stretching it, but I'll go with it. <laughs> so, the three girls and the dog farting? Yeah. The dog, yes. The dog party. Oh, he's the worst. I, I actually disgusting. meant that. No, not the girls. We don't do that, Craig. I know. That's what I like about you. No, just the dog. <laughs> Although I will say, having to deal with the dog's flatulence and the state of roadside restrooms was enough to nearly send me over the edge. You don't take the dog into the restroom. The dog goes <laughs> in the field. No, I'm serious. I think of women as more cleanly, maybe, than men. And I swear to you, I have never seen the things that I saw in some of the bathrooms at some of these gas stations across America. Tell me what they were, Sophia. Get it off your okay. chest. Okay. <laughs> get and maybe this comes from being a camp counselor but I was always raised with you know like my little campers or the little mm. kids I babysit you tell boys that little nursery rhyme if you sprinkle when you tinkle be neat and wipe the seat and I never I heard that that could have saved a lot of trouble that. in my life I'm serious so you don't assume to see that with women and I walk into restrooms and the toilet seats are covered in urine and I'm like, <laughs> but here's what I don't understand it's, it's, causing, it's causing this epidemic where if you want to go to the bathroom in a public restroom, you have to squat. And this, to me... Okay, this, whoa, whoa, yeah. You yeah. do that in yoga. That yeah. is a chair a Chair, chair pose, chair pose, And it's yeah, awful, yeah. and it's terrible, and that's not... I don't want to do yoga when I go to the bathroom. Right, I want to relax. Right. I, on the other hand, don't so want to do bathroom when I go and do this. yoga, but it happens. It just happens. Well... So when I go into chair pose, all hell breaks loose. You need to work some things out. <laughs> and all my chakras go out of whack, and I'm done. Oh. Um, that's why I can never go back to yoga works. No. Yeah. Or so, Bikram, I would imagine. No, Bikram's the hot yoga. Yeah. Do you do the hot yoga? I've done it, but last time I tried, I almost threw up, so I left. I don't really understand why you... I mean, I think sometimes yoga is meant to be peaceful and meditative and yeah. part of... Yoga itself, the word means union, um, union yes. of spirit and, and body, right? Yes. So why would you want to make it in some way competitive or go for the burn? That doesn't seem like yoga at all. Seems like anti-yoga to me, Sophia. I don't know. Discuss. <laughs> well... You know, I tweet with Deepak Chopra now. You tweet? You should ask him. Yes, I follow you on Twitter. Well, I'll follow you don't you, tweet a lot. No, I don't. No, I it's usually okay. uh, get it all out here and then go home. No. But the uh, do, uh, what's your uh, your Tweety handle? Just it's at Sophia Bush. I'll follow you then. Hey. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. you uh, you go with a deep breath, deep deep pack Chopra? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. What does, kind of he cool. tweet, what does he tweet about? He tweets really lovely, enlightening things. So when I'm ranting about ill treatment of animals somewhere or screaming about an oil spill, I read one of Deepak's tweets and I'm like, chill out. It's okay. It's you probably want to get me some of that before I come out here. Yeah. We can work on it. Yeah, no, I, I'm feeling very cranky tonight. It's okay. I'm very cranky. Just, I, just, I, when we're done, you know, just go in the back and scream balls really loud. Maybe it'll make you feel better. I think I, think I pretty much did that for the first half of the show. Well, uh, but you didn't scream. You, like, the primal scream sometimes is the way to let it out. I don't know if I go with that. I, I did no. a lot. No, I tried screaming. I think the way to go with is uh, your, your friend Deepak's okay. way. Just, uh, you know, be cool, chill, relax. You know, yeah. behavior leads to thought, not thought leads to behavior. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I th think we made a journey there. I like it. You know what I, for I always forget, now, and this is part of my prejudice and small-mindedness, okay. because you're so very beautiful and you're an actress, and you come out here, and I forget that how lovely and enlightening our conversations are. It always makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Yeah. I am educated. No, I know. It's rare, I know. No, I don't, I don't mean about, I don't mean about <laughs> educated. I mean the fact that you seem to have an inner life uh, beyond, oh, I don't eat that, and ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Uh, I really hate 
hate those girls. Mm. Not into it. You know what else I find strange? We were talking about Vegas, and that's where my, my road trip ended, really. Mm, many do. And, <laughs> well, you know, from Vegas to L.A., where I live, is four hours, so it doesn't really count as a, a real day on the road. Mm. But we got to Vegas at 2.30 p.m., and I'm watching as there's, like, little kids running around on the strip with their parents, and they're taking pictures with the, the bumblebee, you know, statues and Superman. And then there's these women walking down the street in these, like, dresses that don't cover their rear ends in clear heels. And I'm like, it's 2.42 p.m. That outfit is only appropriate at 2.42 a.m. in a gentleman's establishment. Mm. You are scarring children for life. I think it's weird. Discuss. Well... Yeah. As a man, how do you feel about stripper shoes in the sunlight? I never wear them in Vegas because okay. because it gives the wrong impression. But I, right. I I find their conversation taking an interesting turn because I feel I should defend this. And okay. Yet I cannot. I win. Uh, you you win. Yes, you win our conversation because. That's the way forward to view conversation as a battle that has to be won. Okay. Or is it the way forward, Sophia? Love enlightenment. <laughs> We're going to end with chair forward. pose, but we'll just do it sitting down. Okay. Uh, I like it. Do you fancy a quick mouth organ? <laughs> you can't ask a girl that question. You'd think not, but there I go doing it again. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be worse at that than Jerry was, though. I really don't know how. Yeah, but <laughs> I can't even it's going to be, I just can't be more it. fun watching you try than it was with Jerry. <laughs> I mean, we could just do an awkward pause. Right. I don't know. <laughs> you want to have a staring contest? I'll win that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You I'm blinked already. No, blinking doesn't count. You're blinking all the time. Uh, all right. Change I can do. Rules. I can do a creepy Fine, stare. Fine, give me the harmonica. No, no, let's it. do staring contest. I will content. not call it by that thing you want me to say, because well, it's inappropriate. Organ. It's uh, not inappropriate. That's what they're called. Mouth organ. Listen to how my voice is. That means it's true. <laughs> okay. There you go. Do you have tips for me on how this works? Yeah. <laughs> well... Okay, which which end of it? Do I use this end? I've seriously never played one before. Okay, and wh what? How does it work? Lower suck, depending on what you want to oh achieve. Oh my god! <laughs> That's all you okay, do. Okay, wh wh when Blow. when you exhale, suck. Right. Okay. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Look, uh, I, I know I was a bit cranky tonight, so, uh, so I, uh, so I, what are you going to do? Uh, that's going to happen. Um, I am a human being, I'm complicated, and uh, I'm not the mouthpiece of a large corporation. So some nights my mood will be different to other nights, like regular human beings. As opposed to someone who just looks into a camera and says whatever they want me to uh -oh. say. So, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I'm sorry, but not much. Good night, everybody. Good night.